Today let's talk about the most commonly googled uh, questions about fertility. Hi, I'm Dr. Nivedita Kamraj, infertility specialist and cosmetic gynecologist. So the fertility tips for PCOS. Insulin resistance is the hallmark for PCOS. So once you've confirmed by doing a scan and checking whether you have PCOD as well as doing your uh, hormone assay that is your FSH, LH and your uh, free testosterone levels and you have confirmed that you have PCOS then the most important step is lifestyle modification. Diet is a very important part of your lifestyle modification so we suggest a high protein, high fiber and a low carb diet. Exercise is a game changer when it comes to PCOS and we do suggest according to a lot of researches that high intensity interval training has a very positive effect on women with PCOS. So we suggest instead of going for high intensity, high volume uh, strength training to opt for HIIT instead so that you increase your um, resistance training on endurance rather than strength training so as to decrease your insulin resistance and if you're a woman with PCOS and you've been trying to conceive for the last one year and you've not successfully conceived then we suggest you to meet a doctor and make sure that you get all your other parameters checked you might need ovulation induction or other stimulation protocols for a proper egg release Fertility tips for over 40. If you're 40 years old and you're just planning your fertility or pregnancy, it's very essential for you to know that as age progresses, as you grow older, the number of eggs that you have and the quality of eggs that you have will start decreasing. And also the miscarriage rate will start increasing. So it's very essential for you to meet a doctor at the earliest and make sure that you get your parameters such as your AMH levels, an ultrasound as well as your FSH and LH, certain hormonal tests done so that they can predict your fertility potential in the times to come make sure that you have a monitored fertility planning or a pregnancy planning because after the age of 40 you're more prone for chromosomal abnormalities in your pregnancy so as to avoid it make sure that all the screening parameters are done at the earliest fertility tips for irregular periods so if you're a woman with irregular cycles it's essential that you meet a doctor and make sure that you find the cause for your irregular uh, menstrual cycle simultaneously also make sure that you improve your sexual frequency and uh, try for at least a period of six to eight months alternate day intercourse and in case if you don't conceive even after 12 months of uh, regular intercourse and if your cause is being identified depending on what the cause is for the irregular menstrual cycle it can be corrected and the, the right treatment can be tailor-made fertility tips uh, for endometriosis the very important fertility tip for a woman with endometriosis is plan your pregnancy as soon as possible because endometriosis has a very negative effect on your ovaries it can deplete the number of eggs that you have it can decrease the quality of the eggs that you have so it's very essential to grade your endometriosis first if you have very mild endometriosis then you can go and plan for a natural pregnancy for the first six to eight months but in case you're not able to conceive within the first six to eight months then it is important to move to the next step of treatment according to the guidance of your doctor but if you endometriosis is around the grade 3 or grade 4 spectrum then it's very important to make sure that you plan your pregnancy either with advanced reproductive techniques such as IVF or ICSI or go for other options as per your doctor's guidance. In case if you delay in meeting a, a, an expert and getting your endometriosis uh, treated it can decline your fertility to a great extent and at a very young age women might need donor oocytes for conception so make sure that you meet a doctor as early as possible if you know that you have endometriosis or you're showing any signs or symptoms of endometriosis <laughs>